Hey guys. Good evening, Hello. guys. Hey, how are you? How was uh, how was your day? Pretty good. Nice, 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 nice. Hey, well, what do you do for a living? Me? Yes. I'm a virtual assistant for an advertising company. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> so you work with uh, you work with American customers. Oh yeah, yeah. Okay. But I have also worked with Canadian customers as well. Oh, okay. So so that's why so you do talk in English like all the time. Right now not as much. That's why I want to practice because I just write emails. <laughs> just once in a while I make a call, but I just write emails. So oh, okay. I need to practice. Yeah. So your grammar is pretty good. That's that's <laughs> that's, that's awesome. Did did you choose these uh did you choose these level? No, they told me that this was my level, so um, I just say okay. All right, all right, very good. Um, all right, well, I didn't know that. Well, that makes sense now, so <laughs> to know. Okay. Alberto, how are you? How was your day, Alberto? Everything good? Hi, yes, everything was fine. All right, how so? So, what do you do? For, well, what do you do for a living? Well, I what I call center of the customer service. Oh, really? Well, what account? Uh, it's for guardians. Guardian, you work at Sykes. Yeah, isn't that a Sykes? Yep. <laughs> yeah, that is the one. Oh my God! I thought I thought that account didn't exist anymore. It's it's been there like forever. <laughs> this, ever since they started. Uh, it's supposed that it's a new account. They are hunting right now. Because even though it's a brand that they have, but the product is kind of new for them. It's about insurance. Okay. That, that's what they say. <laughs> I got you. Got you. Very good. Frank, how's it going, Frank? Everything good? Yes. Good evening. Everything okay? Good evening. All right. <clears throat> so anyways, guys, so let's get started. Um, I have no idea what happened to the rest, guys, but we need to move on, okay? Because we got a lot of material to cover today and we have a lot of practice as well, okay? So, all right, so first thing that we're gonna go through today, guys, is gonna be, it's called a uh, reduction of auxiliary verbs, okay? So in English, guys, when you're speaking, just like in every other language, you cut corners, you know, when you're speaking. So in, in English, uh, we have some auxiliaries, right? Like, can you name some of the auxiliaries that you know, guys? What are some of the auxiliaries that you know? What do you think? We do have. All right, have, do or does, okay. Uh, the verb be, right? uh is right okay all right so we have a lot of auxiliaries right now i don't know if i told you the this uh yesterday guys but i said that in english when you're speaking people contract you know people use contractions all the time right because it's easier to talk like that when you're writing an email you shouldn't use contractions at all okay uh, writing emails, for example, or, or formal papers, shouldn't use contractions unless if it is a novel, right? And you're like writing a script of what somebody says, you know, then you can use contractions there. However, you know, formal papers do not use contractions. But speaking, guys, right? In, in, in speech, guys, we always use contractions. And I know that we know, guys, the type of contractions between pronouns and uh, pronouns and, and auxiliaries, right? And auxiliaries. However, guys, did you know that you can contract more than auxiliaries? You can contract nouns, guys, right? You can contract auxiliaries using nouns, okay? And that's what we're going to go over uh, in the first part, okay? So we're going to talk about the reduction of auxiliaries and we're going to have some practice at the end, all right? Nuri, welcome, Nuri. Rodrigo, welcome. Uh, hello, right. teacher. I'm sorry to be late. 
That's okay, right? Everybody is late today for some reason. But thank you for being <laughs> here. Anyway, so um, so today, guys, we're gonna uh, we're gonna learn, guys. One of the objectives, because we're gonna have another topic today, right? Is gonna be for you to practice using reduced auxiliary <laughs> verbs. Okay. So now, obviously, guys, this is in the platform, but you're not you're not gonna listen to it. I'm gonna pronounce it for you, and then you're gonna repeat after me. Okay. All right. So take a look at this example. How would you how would you regularly read this um, Santos? So how how do you how do you read this? Water is being wasted. Okay, all right. So you said fresh water is being wasted, right? Okay, all right. Um, all right, so how, how do you, Rafael Mayen, how do you read this? Good evening, teacher. Uh, newspapers are being thrown away. Very good, okay, newspapers are being thrown away, all right? Very good, guys, everybody's reading this, you know, um, in the way that you were taught, okay? Now, Reduction, guys. Let's reduce. Let's reduce this. Okay. Let's not pronounce, guys. Do you see this part right here, guys? Let's not pronounce that. Okay. Let's erase, guys, all memory. Okay, on this, guys. Just like your ex toxic or toxic, right? Let's erase them. All right. We don't want them in our lives anymore, right? Okay. So now, guys. This is how you pronounce them when you're speaking, okay? All right, try to pronounce this now. Alberto Marin, try to pronounce this. Try to pronounce, try to pronounce this example right here, this one. Too much trash being created. Very good, okay? So the pronunciation is like this. Too much trash has been created. Oh, dude, everybody repeat. Too much trash has been created. Too much, too much trash is being created. All right, yeah, don't, don't don't say yes, guys. Okay, too much too much trash trash is too much trash is being created. Too I everybody, too much trash is being created. Too much, too much trash, trash is being created. created. All right, parks parks been lost. Repeat, guys. Parks been lost. Parks, parks being lost. Been... All right, parks been lost. Parks parks, parks. been lost. Parts okay. being lost. Parts okay. Being lost. Fresh water is being wasted. Fresh water. Fresh water is being wasted. wasted. All right. Fresh water. Everybody repeat. Okay. All right, guys. You can you can chat. I right, on your cell phones later. Okay. It's only one hour. All right. So guys, fresh water is being wasted. Fresh, fresh water, water is being, being wasted. Wasted. All right. Fresh water is right. Very good. Okay. Newspapers, right? Newspapers being thrown. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry. Newspapers being thrown away. Newspapers being thrown away. Newspapers are being thrown away. Very good, guys. Okay, guys. If you, I don't know if you watch uh, TV shows, guys. If you if you watch series, but have you ever heard something like this, guys? How how did it go? Have you ever heard that, guys? Yep. Yes. All right. They don't say how did it go. They say how'd it go. Everybody, how'd it go? 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 Very good. How'd it? Okay. It sounds like this. It sounds like you're saying how. Okay. And then it sounds like you're saying this. How? How'd it? How'd it go? Okay. How'd it? How did it go? All right. Okay. Uh, let's let's try another one, guys. Okay. So let's see what other auxiliary do we know? Jenny. Hello, Jenny. All right. So Jenny, what other yeah, auxiliary do we know? Good evening, Jenny. Mm, had, has, has. Did do? Okay. We have we have. Does okay, right? 
All right, so we have we have do, okay, we have does, okay, all right. So here's one thing about doing this, okay? We're gonna use guys. Usually we're gonna use, you know, contractions when we are talking about sentences, okay? If you use do and does, guys, that's gonna be used usually when we thought we we um we talk about questions, okay? So in this case, we're not gonna use do or does, guys, because of that, okay? All right, we're gonna use the uh, verb be, we're gonna use uh, have or has, okay? And you can use did, guys, if you ask a question such as how, how, how do you pronounce it, guys? How'd it go? How'd it go? How'd it go, okay? Or how do you pronounce this? How do you been? How do you been? Repeat, guys. How do you been? How do you been? Very good. Okay. All right. So this is a contraction for how. Uh, um, I'm sorry. Like this, guys. Okay. How you've been? Okay. All right. How 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 have you been? Like this, guys. How. Sorry. How have you been? All right. So how have you been? Okay. All right, so these are the two, these are the contractions that we have, guys, okay? So in today's practice, I need you guys to talk about uh, whatever you're talking, guys. I want you to practice the contracted form, okay? Got it? Very good, guys. So, very good. So um, let's, uh, let's, let's have some reading here, guys, okay? Let's see. Hilda, how are you, Hilda? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm great. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm late, but I, I, I'm here. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right, so Hilda, I, let's, uh, let's, I don't know if you're able to see everything. Can you see? Can you see the conversation? Uh, no, 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 teacher. Not yet. Okay, uh, Marcus, would you please help us read? Oh, 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 I can read, teacher. Okay, right, there you go. Yeah. Okay, okay. Uh, Carla, it's okay? Yes, uh, uh, yeah, actually, that would be a good idea. I was actually asking you to read it all, but you can be Carla and, you know what, Oli. Oli, you can be Andy. All right, <laughs> okay. okay. All right, okay. but, but, but we're going to do it like this, okay? We, you have to you have to dramatize, okay? You have to dramatize what you're reading, okay? So I want you to read it with emotions, okay? All right, okay. so let's go. Three, two, one, let's go. Okay, I'm Carla. Look at all those dead fish. What do you think happens? Will there a factory on the same town that pump um, pumping or pumping? Pumping. Pumping and chemical into the dry or right Okay. Okay. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? Yes, it is. But a lot of company ignoring those law. That's terrible. What can we do about it? About it? We will on the thing to the abat is it is to talk to. What if that doesn't work? Uh, we'll take another way to stop them is to work at giving a session around a story on it. Yes, companies hate bad publicity, by the way. By the name of the company, it's a call me up. It's oh no, my uncle is one of the top executives. Very good, okay. good job, guys. All right, applause for them, Thanks. guys. Good job, okay. 
All right, I'm gonna help you with pronunciation, guys. All right. Um, okay, guys. So I want you, I wanted you to take a look at this, guys, because I want you to think about a problem, right? I mean, this problem in particular, and what you can do next. Okay. All right. So, but let's take a look at the pronunciation, guys. Okay. Uh, hold on. There you go. Okay. All right. It's not. It's not wheel, guys. It's well. All right, let's. I'm just gonna repeat, guys. This and you, you repeat. I'm mean, just gonna read this back to you, guys. And you, re, uh, you repeat it, okay? Everybody. So, well, there is a factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. Well, there is a factory outside. Everybody, everybody, not just <laughs> one, right? Let's go. Well, well there's well, a factory, factory outside town that's pumping chemicals into the river. Pumping chemicals. How can they do that? Isn't that against the law? How can they do that? Is that against the law? Very good. Yes, it is. But a lot of companies ignore those laws. Oh, that's terrible. What can we do about it? That's terrible. That's terrible. What can we do about it? Well, one thing. All right, this part I needed to pay attention to, guys. Well, one thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. Well, well one thing to do about, 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 about it is to talk to the company's management. What if that doesn't work? What if that doesn't, doesn't work? work? That doesn't work. Well, then, then, uh, then another way to stop them is to, to get a TV station to run a story on it. Well, yes, companies hate by bad publicity. By the way, what's the name of this company? Yes, companies hate bad publicity. By the way, this company. All right, it's called Apex Industries. It's called Apex Industries. Oh no, my uncle is one of their top executives. Oh no, very good, very good, guys. Okay, all right. So, so this conversation, guys, all right, all right, what do you think? And th we're gonna do this real quick, guys, because uh, I do need to talk to you about a, a different topic. Okay, this is just pronunciation, but what do you think, guys? What do you think they can do next? What's your take on it? Take on it, guys, means what's your, your opinion about it? Okay, so what is uh what is your opinion on what they can do next all right so your example guys can be one thing they can do next is okay all right and we're gonna go over this topic guys immediately after this okay so what do you think alberto what is one thing they can do next alberto Oh, you're, uh, you're, you're full, so, uh... Yeah, maybe they can go ahead and request to the CEO of the company to solve the issue. Let's try to say one thing they can do next is. One thing they can do next is to talk to the CEO of the company. All right. One thing they can do next, guys, is to talk to the CEO of the company. Okay. Check this out, guys. Two. All right. Hold on to talk to the CEO of the company, right? Very good. All right, um, let's see, David, what do you think they can do next? Oh, sorry. They can do next is, uh, I don't know. All right. So guys, we're gonna use infinitives, okay? Two plus a verb, guys, okay? And that's what we're gonna see next, okay? All right. So when we want to, when we want to, hold on, guys. Let me pull this up here. All right. By the way, guys, do we have any questions regarding? Do you have any questions regarding uh, the reduction of auxiliaries? 
Right? No? All right. So, um, so once we practice, guys, today, all right, I want you, I don't know if you took a screenshot or something, guys, but I need you guys to use reduced auxiliaries, okay, when you're practicing, all right? All right. So, let's talk about, guys, how to use infinitive clauses and phrases to learn to talk about solutions, okay? So, the example that you saw, guys, was talking about a problem. What was the problem that we ran into? What was the problem of the uh, of what, what, you, uh, what you use red, guys? The pollution. Pollution, right? Very good. Yeah. What is the problem that we have in El Salvador? What do you think? Do we have a problem with pollution? What do we have? Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, that's a good one, right? Like, what, what, what kind of problem don't we have, right? Yes. <laughs> right about that. Uh, yeah, films from cars, okay. All right, very good, guys, okay. So let's talk about infinity clauses, phrases, guys, and then we're gonna go over uh, the practice, okay? So real quick, guys, okay? Take a look at the first example, all right? This is related, guys, to the, uh, this is related to what we just read, okay? So what is one thing they can do next, guys? They mentioned this, right? Let's see, Rafael Mayen, help me read, please. One thing to do about it is to talk to the company's management. Very good. So guys, do you remember what a clause is, guys? I've explained that like a thousand times if you've been with me in previous classes. What is a clause, guys? It's a group of words that contain a subject and a verb. Very good, okay, a group of words that contain a subject and a verb, okay? Very good or a predicate, right? So how many sentences do we have here? Alejandra, how many sentences do we have here? Mm, to be honest with you, I don't remember this, but based on what I know, I will uh, say two. All right, do you agree with that, guys? Do we have two sentences? Thank you, Alejandra. Yes. Do, do we have two sentences? No, yes. we have one sentence no, here, only one, one sentence, right? Remember that the sentence ends with a period at the end, guys, okay? But how many clauses do we have? Two clauses. Do we have two clauses? Two what, what is the first clause that we have here? So one, check- One thing to do about it. Very good, guys. We have one thing, right? Right, would this be the subject? All right. Yeah. Okay, so this is the subject. Okay, we have a main verb here. Okay, therefore, this is a clause, guys. Okay, or we can say this, we can call this the predicate, right? The predi the predicate, right? All right, very good. Here, guys, isn't it, isn't it once, isn't it one clause, guys? Do you still think it's two clauses? I think that uh, there are two clauses because if you just said to talk to the company's management, it's one idea. Remember guys, I'm gonna give you an example of two clauses in one sentence, okay? If you say, for example, I like going to the movies because it's awesome, okay? All right, so I like going to the movies because it's awesome, okay? We have only one sentence here, guys. This is one sentence, right? Just just a quick recap, guys. This is one sentence only, all right? This is one, but we have two clauses. I like going to the movies is the first one, see? We have a subject and we have a main verb and we have a complement, right? We have a predicate, right? So this is clause one, right? Because it's awesome, all right? We have the second clause, clause two, right? Which is, by the way, right, this is a dependent clause, right? Because it needs another idea to make sense, okay? Etc. But we have two clauses here, guys, and we have one sentence, okay? Now, why am I explaining that, guys? Because the topic is, guys, inf infinite, uh, infinite clauses and phrases, okay? So take a look at this, guys, okay? We have, guys, to talk, to do, to stop, to get, to fight, to do. What is that? Infinitives. That's that. Those are infinitives, right? 
So those are infinitives, okay? So you can say, guys, this phrase, okay? So when you practice, guys, you can say this, right? One thing to do about it is, okay? Or another way to stop them is, right? You can say these guys, plus they have something in common. What is it that they have in common? Okay. All right, the verb be, right? And after the verb be, guys, you cannot say, guys, like in Spanish, right? If you were translating, guys, you're not going to understand this, okay? Because you cannot say is stock, okay? Would this be correct, guys? One thing to do about it is stock to the company's management? No. You need to use an infinitive after the verb be, guys, okay? All right, well, I'll get you more examples later, guys, okay? All right, so this is, this is, guys, the structure, okay? Write it down in your notebook, guys, all right? Yes. Write, write it down in your notebook, okay? So, so what's the structure? Uh, Rodrigo Gonzalez, could you please help me read the structure? One way plus infinitive plus is are plus infinitive. Very good. Guys, write it down in your notebook, please, because otherwise, when I ask you guys to give me an example, and I will ask you, all right, you don't know sometimes, right? So please write it down in your notebook. Por favor, escriban el cuaderno, guys. All right? Porque después no me pueden dar el ejemplo, right? Very good. So one way, guys, okay? So you can you can use all the phrases, guys, okay? But we're going to go with one way. One way plus an infinitive, right? Plus the verb be plus another infinitive, okay? All right. For example, let me ask you something. Let's see who hasn't participated. Marco said, no, Marcos, you have, right? Um, Jose Chicas, Jose. So tell me, right? What is one way? One way to participate. To fix, oh, sorry. One way to fix one way to stop, right? One way to stop Cheyenne from stealing our moms. All right, so tell me, what's what's one way to stop Cheyenne from stealing our moms? Jose Chicas? <laughs> All right, guys, do me a favor. Everybody send me one answer in the chat, okay? Let's, let me hear your creative answers, okay? All right, so everybody send me one answer, guys, in the chat, okay? with the structure that I gave you, okay? Uh, Jose Chicas, do you have an answer? Uh, okay, maybe you're not there. All right, David. David, uh, do you wanna, yes. you wanna take this one? So what is one way to stop Cheyenne from stealing our moms? Uh, well, one way to avoid is uh, to kill the Cheyenne. Okay, all right. So, all right. Follow the structure. Follow the structure. Okay. You have to follow the structure. So one way. Okay. So one way. Uh huh. And then uh, what? When, one way to avoid. Mm, to avoid would would be the wrong at the wrong verb. Boy, to stop. Man. To stop, man. Uh, We're talking stop. about stuff, right? Okay. One way to stop. Is. Now nah, we're missing something. Uh, okay. One way to stop him or one way you can use uh, a, a, an uh -huh. object pronoun or you can use Cheyenne, you can use a noun, right? One way to stop him, right? Is 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 to is to send uh, to the jail. Is to send is to send to the is to send who? To send him, so, yeah. uh, him. to jail, uh -huh. okay? To jail. One way to stop him is to send him to jail. Very good. Very good. Good job. All right. Plus for Dave, you guys. Well done, Dave. All right. Very good. Uh, let's see. Jenny. What's your answer, Jenny? Uh, one way to stop him. Uh huh. Is uh -huh. to a styling our mom to to what? Well, no, one, one one way to stop him. You can say, all right, you can 
you can do this, right? One way to stop him from stealing our mom's. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Okay. Way to stop. What are we missing here, guys? What comes next? Well, the structure. Take a look at the structure, Jenny. The infinity. No, we already have the infinity, right? One way to stop him. And then you have to complement on the infinity. Okay, so now we're past the infinity. Now I need what comes after the infinity. So what comes after the infinity? All right. Teacher, and me. Go ahead. One, okay. two. We're here, guys. We're okay. here, right? One way to stop him he, uh, he is to kill. Very good. To the verb B, guys. <laughs> All right. Good job. One way to stop him. All right. Is to kill. <laughs> All right. Is to kill okay. him. Is, hold on. Is to kill him, All right? Kill him. <laughs> very, very Salvadorian, but yeah. yeah. All right. Very good. Good example. Okay. Good structure. Okay. okay. That's okay. All right, guys. Very good. Okay. So now that you have the structure, guys, all right, you, you're going to, you're going to practice and I want to hear guys examples on this. Okay. <laughs> so do you remember the question, guys? I'm going to change the question, guys, a little bit. Okay. Now it says here, right? How would you address the problem with public housing? Okay, this is one example, okay? But if you want, guys, I want you guys to change the question, right? How would you address the problem with, okay? And you're gonna change this part right here, okay? Public housing, guys, is like not having homes, not, not having, um, you know, there is a problem with problem, there's a problem with public housing in El Salvador. Do you think that we have a problem with houses here, guys? What is the problem that we have? Yeah. Too expensive. Too expensive. Yeah. They are very expensive, right? Very good. They are extremely expensive. If you want to live in a safe zone, right? If you want to live in La Campanera, well, I don't, I don't want a house then, okay? <laughs> right? So, okay. So, so one way, all right? What do we need here, guys? Okay, what verb are we going to use as the infinitive here? The verb that we're being asked the question with, guys. One way, we're gonna we're, we're gonna use the, the verb address, guys. Okay. By the way, guys, do we know what the verb address is? A synonym would be tackle, okay? Or another synonym, guys, what what would it be? What do you think? One way to face, right? Got it? If you don't know what address is, guys, as a verb, please look it up, okay? So, all right. So one way, one way what, guys? How would you start answering this question? Address. To address, right? One way to address. You can you can use a, an object pronoun here because we already know the question. So you, you can say one, word to, one way to address it is, or you can say one way to address the problem with public mm -hmm. housing is, okay? Guys, this part right here, guys, after the verb, guys, this is like a noun, treat it like a noun, right? Treat it like one way to address Cheyenne. Instead of, you know, the problem with public housing, think that this says Cheyenne, okay? One way to address Cheyenne, okay? But instead of Cheyenne, we're gonna say one way to address public housing, okay? One way to address public housing is give me ideas guys All right marcos escobar what do you think what is one way to avoid public housing in el salvador i don't know is to stop buying stop buying, buying new apartments new, or house new apartments okay all right very good okay i have no idea how that would work but all right <laughs> the, the structure is good okay good job all right, um, Oli. So, what would be the one way to 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 you know address the problem with public housing? The prices. Estabilization or the price. Very good. Okay, one way to okay one way to address it. You can say address it is to stabilize 
All right, prizes, exactly. right? Or or to lower prizes, guys. Okay, that would be better. Okay, to lower prizes, or you can even say to lower the prices of housing. Okay, very good. All right. You can also ask guys, what is another question? What is another problem that we have in El Salvador? What else can you tell me? Delinquency. Delinquency. Water. All right. Uh, corruption, right? The... Is, is the danger in, in the, in, in this um, some type of city. Very good. So let's let's change the question, guys. How would you address? Everybody, repeat. How would you address the problem? How would you address, you address the problem? How would you address the problem? Is right. the danger in this in the sometime um the city in, in San Salvador? Very good. Okay. Good job. So you can say this, guys. You can answer the question like this. How would you avoid? How would you address the problem? Of, all right, let's change the preposition, guys. All right, let's use of. How will you avoid the problem of? Or you can say with too, guys, okay? But that is crime, okay? Crime. How would you how will you address the problem with, with crime, okay? So I'm going to give you another example, guys, and then it's your turn, okay? One way, right, one way to address the problem with crime is to educate uh children in a better way right got it or you can be more creative right is to bring one way to, to avoid the problem with crime is to bring batman right all right that's it guys okay all right so that's what i want you to do guys okay i'm gonna get you together in couples guys and you are gonna practice the first question that you're gonna practice guys is this one and then you choose your own questions is that clear? Yes. All right. Let's yeah. go, guys. Yes. Yes. Let's, let me couple you up, guys, and let's go. I'm going to send this image to the WhatsApp group, guys, if you don't have it, but let's go. Oh, Jenny, you have two devices, right? Yes. Oh, Jenny. Hold on. There you go. All right, let's go, guys. Let's join, guys. Let's join, okay? David. Oh, sorry. But, yeah, Nori is waiting for you. Uh -huh. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. 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 It's the same answer, teacher. The, the what, I'm sorry? Teacher, it's this, the same answer. It's the... Question. The same question. Um, David, do you can do you remember the instructions? Yes. Hold on. It's the same. No, that's not what I said. I said. <laughs> I I don't know, David. Do you remember the instructions? Oh, sorry. You're gonna practice that question no, first. No, I remember the tonight. You're gonna practice that question first, and then I said that you ask your own questions. Okay. Okay. All right, primero se pregunta y después. Yes, but, but. Right. Mm -hmm. Very good. So I, I sent you the question, guys, to the group. Okay. Yes. Mm -hmm. so I will start. Uh, how would you you address the problem with uh, with the traffic? Oh, uh, how would you what? I'm traffic. sorry. Is this? Yeah, it's the same question that we are talking about. Yes. Right now, yes, for now, for now. Creo que no me entendió en, en inglés. Van a, van a trabajar con la primera pregunta que está ahí y después ustedes van a hacer las preguntas, ¿ok? Su propia pregunta. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. Yes. To chair, to chair the, the, the public housing. That is the first question. Then you can, you will, you need to ask your own questions. Okay, we, we have to do to do or 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 next in the in the I'm sorry, teacher. In the, the the same old example, public housing, and the other one is with the with crime. Yes. Okay. No, the other one is whatever you want, guys. Guys. Ah, okay. Okay. Yes. okay. 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 Right. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let's start. Okay. Another question. Yeah. How will you address the problem with um, do you think it's better for to to the, address? Okay, uh, the a big problem in this the point of view of the lawyer. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, but tired <laughs> is heavy. <laughs> okay, in the exercise. Uh, I think, Rodrigo, the big problem in El Salvador is the property. Is correct? Pobreza? Property? I don't know. I think that the poor, poor man. Teacher? Yes, tell me. Is correct? Property? Pobreza? Poverty. Poverty. Okay. Yes. Misery. You, Poverty. Mm -hmm. This is the, the big problem in Salvador. Mm -hmm. Right. So how so so how will you ask a question about poverty? Okay. Okay, this is the problem. How will you address the problem property? How would you address in this? How would you address? How how will you address the problem property? With Poverty. With. with. Yes. With. With. Poverty. Yes. Okay. Poverty. Okay. I think one way to to address with the problem. Property. One way to address the problem with poverty. Okay. One way to address the problem with the property. With poverty, the, not with that, with, with poverty. With poverty is education for the mm. child education. Is, remember that, that you need a, uh, an infinitive. Is to. Is to. Is to educate. Education. Is to educate. You need a verb, not a noun. Educate. Uh, educate. Yes. Okay. You need to educate. Is uh -huh. uh -huh. to educate. Um, the children, right? Uh, the children. Uh, All right, very good, very good. Continue, guys, continue. Thank you. Teacher. I think the other way is, I think that the other way. The pen. That, that actually is the pen. Ah, yeah. come on, why? <laughs> Because and I live in Ilopango, it's too far. Oh, uh -huh. It's yeah. it's in a way nearby. But it's near Agu at the Aguilares. <laughs> yes, that, that's right. Between a popa and Aguilares, so that's why I I was oh. asking you if you have worked with a popa society. Oh no. <laughs> All right. Well, what are you I talking think... about, guys? Uh, about the 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 question, the answer. The okay. way how to prevent crime. Uh, Hilda was right. telling me that one way to prevent crime is to teach them a uh, hobby, Values. let's say. And she has worked with that kind of people, you know? She has worked. Yeah. Re repeat, she has worked. Hey, she has worked. Hey, you're forgetting, you're forgetting the contractions. She's worked. She's right? Worked. She's worked. She's worked. Repeat, she's worked. She's worked. With those, those, right? With those type of people, okay? With those types of people, those, okay? With those type of people, yeah. Okay, very good. All right, very good. Uh, 